Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around I have some retro video game pickups to show you guys. Um, I got four games in total. Uh, didn't get much else this time. No extra boxes or manuals or guides or anything else really. Just found these four games. Uh, I wasn't really intending on buying any of these. Uh, and actually, probably should have left some of these behind. Uh, but... I mean, I had I had some uh, nostalgia for some of these things, so I just, I had to get them. So, to start off with first is an item that I had a lot of nostalgia for, uh, but I have no way of actually playing this right now. Um, it's a brand new copy of SimCity 2000, the Ultimate City Simulator. Um, I believe this was, yeah, it's a special edition of the game. Uh, and yeah, it's still in a plastic wrap, brand new. I paid two ninety nine for this. I started ripping the sticker off of it. I actually found uh, this in the next game uh, that I got, like these two games, um, in the reference book section of Value Village, which was kind of strange. But um, I found them. They were cheap enough, and I thought, you know, you know what? It's SimCity two thousand. This is the game that I uh, like. One of the only PC games that I played as a kid. And I just, I had to get it. And it even includes, um, let's see, it includes SimCity 2000, Urban, sorry, Urban Renewal Kit, and Disaster Scenario. So I'm going to assume those are just uh, extra features and stuff like that. But yeah, that's brand new, so I went ahead and got that. Uh, next up is also another uh, new PC game. Uh, this one is still sealed. Uh, so, of course, I think that it's new. Uh, but it didn't have any plastic wrap around it. Uh, it's a game in a series that I've uh, played in the past, but I actually was unaware of uh, this entry into the series. It's Wing Commander Prophecy, and um, yeah, this one's brand new as well. It, it just it looked pretty nice, and I thought, uh, why not go for it? When I saw this one, and I was like, okay, I'm definitely going to grab this one, um, and I saw this right next to it. I just went ahead and grabbed this as well. I probably should have left it behind. There would probably be someone else more interested in it. But, um, I mean, it says the ultimate sci-fi combat simulation. So, I don't know. I might have fun with this eventually. I still need to figure out my whole PC situation. Um, but yeah, for the time being, I just I have no way of playing uh, my PC games. Even though I'm starting to... Sorry, I'm starting to build up a collection of PC games as well. Uh, anyways, to get to the more interesting stuff, I went to this used uh, game store that I don't go to every so often because I usually don't find anything there. Prices are usually higher than other places, and the condition isn't that great. Um, usually it's not that the stuff is really damaged, but it's just really dirty. Uh, they do have a lot of damaged stuff there as well, don't get me wrong, but, uh, every so often I do find something. Uh, it's called High Tech, I think it's just called High Tech or High Tech Video Games, not, uh, entirely sure, but, uh, it's, uh, on Bloor, uh, here in the city of Toronto, it's at Bloor, uh, just east of Dufferin. And I guess the most notable thing about the store is that it smells like cat pee, um, mixed with other stuff too, but uh, they have been working on it, it doesn't smell as bad, but for all I know I could just be getting used to the smell, even though I've been in the store less than a dozen times. Um, but yeah, I go back every so often because they do have sales occasionally, and they did have a really decent... Uh, sale on Game Boy Advance games. They had any games priced at uh, $9.99. They were buy one, get one free. And for some reason, they had uh, an, any game priced fifteen ninety nine. Uh, you buy one and you get two free. Um, and it was two free games priced uh, $9.99 or less. Uh, it was kind of a strange sale for them to have, but I I considered it while I was there. They had a copy of Boktai 2, I believe it was, for the Game Boy Advance, but it had absolutely no label on it, so I just, I, I didn't go for it. It was only $9.99, I could have gotten it as part of the special, but I, I just, I couldn't bring myself to buy it. Uh, I looked around the store, though, and I went to the back, and I saw above 
um, a shelf that they had all their repair uh, repair tools and stuff like that. Uh, they had all that stuff on a shelf. Sorry, that's getting out in such a weird way, but they had a shelf with all that stuff on there. And then at the very top of the shelf, there were just boxes and boxes of games. And the games that were there, I was surprised to see them because I've never seen anything like that in their store. Uh, they basically just had a whole bunch of Saturn, 32X, and uh, 3DO games completed in a box. And most of them were priced insanely high. Um... Just to sort of get an idea, they had Space Harrier uh, for the 32X for $59.99. Uh, I didn't get it. I don't have a 32X, so there was really no point in me getting it. Uh, but I looked through the Saturn games. Uh, most of them were disc only or disc and mutilated box. Uh, for some reason, lots of people just cut off portions of the box and put it in regular jewel cases. And that just... That kills me a little inside, but people did that. Uh, there was a Sonic 3D Blast, uh, Croc, and one other game that just escapes me right now. I think it was one of the Virtual Fighter games. Um, and also the cheaper Street Fighter game for the Sega Saturn. I didn't get any of those, but I did see this one game here. And sorry for the long story leading up to this. But the one game that I got is Darius Gaiden, and it was complete in a case that is still perfectly functional. It's not broken, uh, no cracks or anything in it. And the disc itself, uh, in my opinion, is in pretty decent condition. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been resurfaced, uh, but there are just the most minor of tiny scratches. Um, around the edges of the disc. It didn't have the little foam piece that went inside there, but that's no big loss. Uh, next up, I was looking at all the 3DO games. Uh, there were pretty much like four different games there, and there were doubles of a couple of them. Uh, I tried to uh, look through them all thoroughly, but I just, I really couldn't. Um, I ended up finding three copies of this game here, they were all priced the same, uh, so I went with the one that was in the best condition, and um, I, I just I, I don't know much about this game. Uh, I'm assuming it's some kind of a space shooter, but there's probably some kind of a text, some kind of text gameplay to it as well. Uh, if you guys know more about this, please let me know. I know this was also a PC game, uh, and the first game in the series was also on the PC. Uh, it's Star Control 2 and everything was in here and I was uh, pretty happy to see a game like this in such good condition. Uh, inside it also includes a bonus hint book and star map. Uh, those are all in here including the um, some kind of sweepstakes um, mail out thing. The map is here. Let me just open it up a little bit. It's not a crazy huge map, but it uh, it's just... I don't know what, what to call it exactly, like a star chart. And then... This one here is just advertising a whole bunch of different games. All of which they actually had there except for Samurai Showdown. Uh, he had Gex, which I already have, um, Star Control 2, which I just got, uh, Offworld Interceptor, he had like four copies of that game, all of them complete, um, and uh, also um, The Horde and Total Eclipse, both those games as well. Uh, I would have liked to buy all of those games, well, except for Total Eclipse and Gex, because I already have those, uh, but the prices were just too high. Uh, he had them all priced at between uh, $29.99 and $49.99. And I told the guy, I just, I don't think that I'd want to ever pay this uh, price for these games. Um, so basically, just to sum it up, 
the prices that he had originally on these two games um, for Darius Gaiden, he had twenty nine ninety nine on this, and uh, Star Control Two was thirty nine ninety nine. I told him I would not pay seventy dollars for both of those games together. I said that the offer that I would make him, he probably wouldn't like it, and he wouldn't accept it, but uh, he told me to give him the offer anyways. I tried explaining to him that at his store, the kinds of customers that he gets in are the kinds of people that buy the latest sports games um, or buy just the most recent games. And every so often, somebody will come in and buy older stuff. But nobody ever goes to his store looking for this kind of stuff. Saturn games, 3DO games, 32X games. Nobody ever looks for that kind of stuff at his store. Because he also doesn't really advertise that he has this stuff. It was just in the back on top of a shelf and I just happened to see it. So I made him an offer that I was pretty certain that he would refuse. Uh, but I was surprised that he took it. Uh, again, he had it priced at $70 plus tax. So that would have been... I'm terrible at math, probably around like seventy six, seventy seven dollars, uh, including tax. And I said I'd only be interested in it at forty dollars altogether. Uh, he sort of wasn't okay with that, but after talking to him more, and he told me himself that he only really has one other customer that uh, comes in asking about three DO games. Uh, and he's already seen them, and he wasn't interested at all. Uh, so he was perfectly fine with cutting me a deal. Now, I doubt that it'll ever give me that good of a deal again. Um, I don't really know what the going uh, prices are for these games, but I do know that uh, pretty much 20 bucks for Darius Gaiden uh, in this grade of a condition... Uh, is a pretty good deal. It's a very uh, a very cool uh, shoot 'em up. And Star Control Two. All that I could figure out is that uh, it sells for anywhere from like fifteen dollars for a disc only copy to like fifty sixty dollars for a complete copy. But I don't know. It, prices change so often that it's really hard to uh, keep up with uh, games like this. Uh, anyways, that's all I got. Sorry for the really long story. Sorry for the long explanations. Um, hopefully you uh, just uh, liked uh, to hear the story uh, behind how I got these games. Uh, anyways, I'm just rambling now. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, also, check out my Facebook, Twitter, website. They're all linked in the description below as well. And... Uh, that's it. See ya.